Welcome to The Factor Uncensored. It's been a tough time for a local influencer named Tierra Allen. But known as a sassy truck driver or trucker online, she is finally back home. Look at God. After being detained in Dubai for three months. Now, it was originally believed she was arrested for yelling at a rental car agent. But Allen says that's not the case. She says she got into an argument with the clerk at the rental car agency because they wouldn't release her personal belongings. Allen was able to finally leave Dubai after criminal charges against her were dropped and a travel ban was lifted. She joins us now here in the Factor on Censored studio to talk about it. Welcome home. Welcome Thank home. You. Look at God. Won't he do it? Yes. <laughs> so when you first got locked up, what was that like being locked up? Just the, the thought you could be locked up in Mississippi and that's a nightmare, but you're in Dubai, another country away from all your relatives, family members and friends. What, what is that like? Um, it was very scary because I didn't know how long they were going to keep me there. I didn't know like what I was supposed to do next. I didn't have contact with my family. So I was there in that cell all day. And they didn't release me to the next day. So I thought they were going to hold me for like years. And one of the guards told me, they were like, hey, you know you're going to get like 10 years in prison. I was like, no, I'm not going to get 10 years in prison. Mm -hmm. So it was very scary and traumatizing for me. And they also don't give you food for the whole day there. And, you're, and it's very, very cold there as well. Mm -hmm. And of cold. course, you know, you had Brittany Griner on your mind, yes. I'm sure, too. Oh, yes. Yes. And you're like, this is a big celebrity. I'm an influencer from Houston. How would I, you know, would they yeah. come to my rescue? Yes. I never thought that would happen to me in a million years. Mm -hmm. So it was so shocking for me. Super shocking. So tell us what happened that day. Well, that day, uh, me and my friend were headed home. Um, we got into a minor fender bender, mm -hmm. and so the police came and my friend was arrested because he didn't have a driver's license on him, and so I was arrested as well. And now, we was he to native to there or from America as well? He was a local citizen there, but he okay, wasn't from it. the country yet. Mm -hmm. So we ended up both getting arrested, and we were both taken to jail that day. And so he ended up having to stay in jail, but a little bit longer than I did. They released me, and thankfully, I was able to be free. So the next time, the next day, I went up to the rental car agency to get my belongings, and that's how the big incident kind of started with me yelling at the rental car company. And so take us step by step. You got there. You said, where's my stuff? Yes. And what happened after that? So I got there, the owner of the rental car agency, he said, hey, I'm going to give you a release form to go to the impound and get your things. And so um, he kind of lied and played so many games to me. I was like, okay, I'm here now, can I have my things? He was like, no, you got to pay me this big fee. And I was like, how big is this fee? I'm willing to pay you, but first I need my belongings because I don't have those things on me inside mm -hmm. of the car. And he was like, give me a second, let me call my manager and see what he says. So the manager was like, no, we're not going to give her anything until that we have that car back. And I said, how can I give you guys back this car if you guys have my pass? passport, my wallet, everything inside her. What can I do? They told me, they said, you know what? Go and figure it out. No, where was like, the car at this time? The car was in the impound at this time, yes. Impound. And, and how did it, after the accident? And so did you, were you driving at the time? No. 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 I never so drove. You're just, your was stuff was in the car. Yes. Got it. Got it. And so they wanted you to bring the car to them, even though you weren't. The driver. Yeah. Correct. Now, did you rent the car? No. So my what friend. What the hell? Yeah, it was it was kind of crazy to me. It, uh -huh. was just, it was just just very crazy to me. It's, the system in Dubai is very different from USA. So it's just they thought that maybe I had money and I should pay me because my passport said USA. I don't know what made them want to charge me, but it was just very crazy for me. Mm -hmm. And so when you found yourself locked up. Did you have what you would consider in America adequate, adequate representation? Someone who spoke English, someone who was communicating with you from beginning to end? No, not at the moment, no. So when you were first locked up, did you get an attorney at all? No, not at all. That didn't cross my mind until I got in contact with my mother, who actually found an attorney online. The lady, her name was um, Rada Sterling, detained in Dubai. Mm -hmm. She found her, and she was representing me while I was in Dubai. And then from there, that's when my mom contacted the U.S. Embassy, and we got in contact with, we got into contact with other local Congress people here in Houston. Mm -hmm. And so what finally made the difference in you being released, do you think? Oh, a big difference. Like, once we got in contact with the right people, it was way better. They, were, they, they moved a lot quicker, and I wasn't there so long, and it was a, 
I was super happy once we got in contact with the Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Um, we got in contact with, who else was it? Um, Cornell X, him. So once Cornell X picked up my case, it was a big, big difference for me. Mm -hmm. And it was, very, it was very exciting for me. And so you walk away from this visit, and was this your first time in Dubai? No, it was my second time in Dubai, actually. Uh -huh. I thought Dubai was a very nice place. And so you walk away this time. Are you going back any time? Oh, no, I'm not going back <laughs> I mean, there again. I mean, you're not taking your no. ass back there. You <laughs> never know going what's going to happen. Exactly. I could end up in prison maybe next time. And so did you feel like women had less rights and meant less there? Oh, definitely. Because I feel like <coughs> if I was a man, there's no way they would have called the police on me over shouting. Like, that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So, no. And, and your best piece of advice for people traveling abroad? I would say, you know, you won't really know. I can't really tell a person what to do. But, but you should advice. learn the customs yeah. and realize that they don't see you a the woman same. the same exactly. or maybe a black person the same. I'm That's not talking true. about Dubai specifically. In general, but you're yeah. not seeing the same as you may think you're seeing here Correct. in America. Yes, that's true. All right. We want to thank you for joining us. Thank you. And glad you're home, huh? Thank you. <laughs> glad to have you here. Wait, don't go anywhere. Oh. <laughs> we got an old show to go. Okay. <laughs>